Not the boat we're taking. That is the boat we're taking. Looked a lot worse earlier this morning. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another one. It is the first open water video of the 2022 season. And I'm here on Bull Shoals Lake. I'm here with Kyle Lassiter. You'll see him in a second. Today, I wanted to talk about how to find these crappie during that early phase of the pre-spawn. Um, down here, March, what is it, March 11th, water temps are like mid 40s. Uh, we're probably not gonna see mid 40 water temps until the end of March, if not to the early part of April back in my home state of Wisconsin. So I thought today would be a really good time to show you what these crappie look like on side imaging and why they're in certain areas of these creek channels given the time of year. So we're gonna wait for Kyle to get out here and then we'll head on out to the spot. All right. This is Kyle, everybody. He's a videographer for ACC Crappie Sticks. You probably see him on the ACC Crappie Sticks YouTube channel. Um, and today we're going to be talking about, like I said in the video, how he's using his Garmin units with side imaging or side view and relating to his map that he's using for pre spawn, early phase pre spawn crappie. All right, guys. So, what we're doing is I've got, I've got my Garmin on my side view. I've run it out to 100 feet off of both sides. And that way when we're going down this channel, we've got a lot of crappie that's come down to the end of these creeks and they're in here in school. So we've run it out to 100 foot. Uh, I've got the GT56, I'm running the 1070 on the Garmin transducer. And we're just right now scanning to see if we can find any of the schools. On my map, you can see uh, what I've looked for is where the contour has went from deep water and it's and it comes all the way down in here and then it starts to shallow up and we found 46 47 degree water back in here but once we get up to kind of the area that we're looking at i'm going to show you in depth the contour drop off these fish are stacked up in the main part of the, the creek channel on a channel swing um it warmed up probably the past week down here what was the temps it was 70 last week okay so it was in the 70s water temps obviously were starting to rise these fish were pushing from their I guess late winter pattern areas which is at the mouths of all these creeks all the way up into the creeks and then eventually when they spawn they're going to go way back into the back of these creeks to spawn so right now we're trying to catch them in that transition phase and they're still in that early part of that phase um, once we get over some fish on side imaging we'll show you what they look like uh, we're just now fixing to get over to that channel there's a group oh yeah there we go yeah there's a good group of them right there on the left. There's a group. Just those bright spots that are kind of in pods. Yep. They'll start. There's a, there's a few. There's another school there. There's a little school. Here's a school. Here's some fish out here. Mm -hmm. It's that little tree right there. Yep. Oh, let's go back to that little tree. There are some big ones on there. There's some there. there. Yeah. There's quite a few in the shallow area, too. Yeah. A screenshot of that, yeah. There we go. That is what we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. See that big pot of fish right there on the left side of the screen? These fish are just suspended out in the middle of these creek channels right now, but they're towards the back of the creek. They're starting to make that transition, so... We're gonna jump up front and see if we can yeah. catch a few. Yeah, there's go ahead and take that screenshot too. There's a bunch of good ones right out here. Mm -hmm. This is almost looks like that there's might a, be a bunch on the bottom. There are a bunch on the bottom. Don't that look like it? That is, yeah. You like that, you wanna get a video of how to cast like that? Yeah, should we do a casting video today? All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to <laughs> do a major. Do not open your bail, whatever you do. This casting technique, not really. <laughs> Nope. Oh, there he is. There he is. I think he hit it so hard I didn't even feel the bite. Uh, did get him? Yeah. Really like a single big <laughs> Yeah, fish. that's a Look good crappie. That, oh. You rolling? I know. Okay. That's a good crappie. He's going to fry up good tonight. Heck yeah, dude. Just one single fish right mm -hmm. there. I think this, the singles are going to be the big ones. Yep. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have forward-looking sonar, it's going to be real tough to, to get these out. You're going to have to either long line or spider rig, but this guy's going in the live well because he's going to fry up real good tonight. Hey, 
when you first spot lock it, it starts shoving you back. There he is. Oh, big one. That's a big fish. I don't know if this is, if this is a crappie, it's a good one. That's a good fish. Is that white? One of the rare white crappie on here, isn't it? Yeah, it is rare. It's a lot. Yeah, for sure. Here we go. Another one for the live well. We're going to eat good tonight. One more for the live well. So, I understand a lot of you are probably kind of frowning upon the fact that we have live scope. Yes, we have it on the boat. And typically if you're in this type of situation, long lining or spider rigging are your best bet. Put as many uh, jigs in the water as you legally can and try to catch some of these scattered fish. If you have forward looking sonar, definitely use it to your advantage because you can definitely pick out the bigger fish in the schools and that's what we're trying to do today. Oh, you got one coming, just keep reeling. That's a big one for that tree. Keep reeling. I think a minute, didn't it? Yeah, boom. There he is. Yeah. Another good black. Another keeper for the live well. This is a cast in a real pattern. It's very difficult to find fish that are. We found some fish right now on a piece of brush, so hopefully they stay there because it's very difficult to find these fish sitting still so we can actually cast on them. Typically, it's been just casting at moving schools and. Hopefully we hit something. That's why spider rigging or long lining is pretty key to this. So as you can see here, we're just casting away from the boat. These fish were a little bit spooky, so casting 40 to 60 feet away from the boat seemed to be the best tactic. Also keeping that jig pretty high up in the water column was also key to triggering a bite. These fish were only suspended 5 to 12 feet below the surface in about 25 to 30 feet of water. Well, temp has started to drop quite a bit. Uh -huh. Kyle, have we caught many keepers? Well, we've caught a few. A few. Not what we're we hoped to. We pre-fished this earlier this morning and or earlier this afternoon. We caught a lot more uh, good-sized fish. I did catch one, one and what is it, a pound and three-quarter. Here we go. Possible two. You can you take you, a picture of you. No, I'm doing a video. Oh. Go ahead, clip her on there. All right, big boy. Fingers ain't working out. You guess two, I'm gonna guess one point eight. Girl, you got closer. What is it? 174. It's a heck of an Arkansas crappie though. Four man, that's a tank. Full shoals. I where that come from. I've been fishing for 30 minutes <laughs> in the craziest condition. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Full shoals in a snowstorm. This is early pre-spawn. They're coming out of their wintering phases. We're gonna check some deeper timber here in a second, but hopefully uh, some of this video was informative for you guys. Saw a bit on the side imaging. You don't need live scope, but if you're not gonna use live scope, you probably want a long line or spider rig or something like that. That's probably the the best way to catch them if you yeah. don't have forward yeah, looking sonar. They're just scattered everywhere so it makes it tough yeah this is what we're looking up on live scope they're just you can see i mean there's just fish everywhere there's a school but they're just little dots all over the place yep it makes it hard to see it just like that they're not holding to any timber or anything like that through this section anyway so we're going to try some timber and then that's going to wrap it up for the night appreciate you watching if you got any comments or questions post them in the comment section below or you can message me on either facebook or instagram check out the acc crappie sticks channel you'll be seeing this guy quite a bit on that youtube channel and uh, we'll link everything that we used here below uh, i'll link all his graphs and the rod and reel setups we were using today and check out the brand new acc crappie sticks jig lineup both the jig heads and the baits can we show these baits yet or do we got to blur these out this one you can we can show this bait. This is the this is the club, but the club 175 plastic. They're in a bunch of different colors, and uh, they work really well. And there's a new bait. There's a new bait. I don't know if it's going to be out by the time this video comes out or not, but we have another one coming. Going to be really good. It's a, another small profile bait. Uh, this was a six 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 six. six, six yeah, cast ACC. Rod. So. Uh, 
you know, just out here casting and trying to pick up a few. Yep. All right, that's gonna wrap it up. We'll see you tomorrow morning and hopefully some bigger fish get caught, more fish get caught, and we'll uh, try to do some different tactics for you. So, see you in the morning. Thank you.